it's Amber. Are you considering a destination wedding? Today, we are in Mexico at the Engage Luxury Wedding Summit with some of the best destination wedding experts in the world to help you come up with a few ideas to make planning a little easier. The first thing is research. Every country has different legal requirements. Some have a grace period. You have to be in the country for a couple days before you can actually legally get married. Some have different types of people that can legally marry you. Some do allow civil ceremonies. It's very, very important that you find out what each country's legalities are, and then you follow suit. I think the ideal size for a destination wedding is what you feel comfortable with. How much time do you want to spend with everyone? Personally, for destination because remember, everyone has to get there and get back. I'd say around 100 people. The interesting thing about destination weddings is clients often come to me thinking it's going to be the budget option when actually it's just the converse. While food and beverage and certain things may be less expensive in the destination they've chosen, by the time you figure out bringing in china glass, silverware, floral, it's gonna be much more expensive than doing it in a hotel ballroom. You've heard it from the best. Hopefully, you got a few great tips that you can use to plan your destination wedding. For more inspiration and tips, visit smalltalkbigday.com.